I am pretty fucking excited for this week. Finally done with the entire week of just pause and slow tempo movements. It, you know, the whole point was to prime my core and my form and make me feel really good. So at that this week, we can now rip and rip all of our shit, not worry about pausing or, you know, obviously we want as perfect form as we can get, but just no pause and no slow tempo. I just get to rip that shit as hard as I want, which is a great feeling. So we get to go a little bit heavier than the first week this week. So the first grip and rip week, I was doing 70 to 75%. So this week we will be doing 80 to 85% and doing like doubles on Olympic lifts and sets of four on power. Um, you know, and, set, and last week we took the volume set wise down by one set. So like I did three sets for every exercise last week. This week we'll go back to doing four sets for every exercise um, after our warm ups, like four working sets. Uh, yeah, you know, I think it's gonna be a very nice change of pace. I get to just kind of go in and do my shit, not really worry about it. Today is a snatch day, which is always fun. I've started to really enjoy snatches since my form's gotten pretty good. So, you know, today I'm just, I'm going up, I think I'm going up to 195 for doubles. Um, not kilos, by the way. I'm not that fucking strong. Jesus Christ, I'm only the strongest. I'm not like Lasha. Holy shit. Uh, no, 195 pounds uh, for doubles. And, uh, you know, again, Snatch has just been kind of a lot more fun. And I've gotten a really good sense of my center of gravity, like my midfoot specifically. So it's gotten a lot easier to just kind of like bring it into my hips and whip the shit out of it without actually whipping it out in front of me. I get a really nice high third pull. Um, other than that, got overhead squat. Uh, very excited to not pause on overhead squats. Um, cause you know, it's nice. Of course, the whole point is to make my form and my core better, but good Lord, just like you really hit some fucking depth when you pause a fr an overhead squat. Um, but yeah, no, I'm going up to, what am I going up to today? Wow. I'm going up to 235 for four. Nothing I'm new to. I've definitely done more than that, but that's some heavy weight, you know, getting, doing any kind of snatch movement when it's overhead with uh, two plates or more. That's a, that's pretty fucking heavy. So other than that, I just got snatch pulls at the end and those are always a bit more chill. Um, especially on the grip and rip week. Last week, when I was doing all my slow tempo sn uh, snatch pulls and clean pulls, they were definitely, I could feel my quads burning a good bit because you have to really hold it longer than you would ever want to. Um, but this week, I'll just be, again, I'll just be able to like stand up and just fucking ring that shit, do what I want. Uh, there's more volume, so I'm probably going to be more tired than I'm letting on because uh, even though it's not a pause week, I normally I make my pause weeks easier weight-wise and volume-wise, so that I prime myself back up to do normal reps with higher weight for more volume. I know that might seem a little counterintuitive because most people would do lighter weight for more volume, but I have just always had a better experience, especially with Olympic. It might be different with just if you're just doing straight power or bodybuilding. But I've had a good experience with Olympic where when I do less volume and just really focus on lighter weight with and just focusing on my form and not so much the weight or like trying to push the volume and like really give myself a crazy fatigue, uh, a level of fatigue, um, I, I typically get better results in my form, which is what you always want in Olympic. And then on my... Uh, normal rep type weeks where I go heavier for more volume um, when you get tired you're gonna revert to your worst habits so I obviously don't expect to do that and I don't want to do that but if I'm gonna revert back to my old habits from fatigue or just t straight tiredness I would rather it be on a week where I'm just like ripping it uh, at my own body's comfortability rather than 
on a slow tempo or pause week where I need I really need everything to be in check and with good form because if you feel like shit on a pause day and the shit's too heavy or the volume's too much you're not gonna be able to do it that's just me though uh but you know other than that I think it's gonna be great I'm going up to oh yeah and I'm going up to 300 for doubles on snatch pull again it's nothing too crazy but uh it gets it gets it feels really good to know what such a heavy weight feels like when you're doing a pull on clean pull or snatch pull because like i know i can obviously a pull does not correlate to how much you can snatch or clean but it definitely gives you a different mental sense of comfortability where like next time i go to do like my my goal when we start getting towards the prs and the next two weeks uh, after I'm done with this block, uh, like I would really, really like to hit 245 on snatch. That would be a huge number, huge number. Um, but you know, because I'm pulling 300 plus pounds really high, like I'm trying to get as high a pull as I can, I can probably get 300. I don't know if I can get it to the bottom of my sternum, but I can definitely get it relatively close. And just knowing that, knowing what that feels like makes it so much easier to rip two plates and a 10 off the ground, you know? It just, it makes it a lot more, it's not so much imaginative, you know? It, it feels like it's actually like in reach. Same thing, like I'm trying to, my biggest goal for my clean and jerk PR in a couple weeks, you know, it, it's all, it always depends on how good you're feeling, but I really, I, I think there's potential for me to hit three plates for the first time ever. Whoops. And if that happens, that would be fucking awesome. But you know, I do, you know, I'll, I'll do like, I think my, I'll go up to, on my heaviest type of shit, I'll go up to near like 365 for doubles. And like knowing that I can pull that really hard, three plates isn't as scary as it really seems. But. Anyway, I'm just gonna drink my caffeine, enjoy my day, hopefully see some homies. I'm in the gym a little early because I got plans tonight, but other than that, I'm just gonna enjoy myself, you know. Snatch days, people kind of view an Olympic like squat days for power lifters. They don't like it because their form's not as good as they want it to be, so it's hard for them. My, I think just, I just think my form's gotten really good compared to where I used to be even nine months ago, if not earlier, six months ago. And so now that I'm comfortable with my form and I can really sink in the bottom of the snatch without much worry, I really, really enjoy snatch days now. So you'll get to see what that looks like, you know.
Holy shit. The program is working. It's fucking magic. Very, very happy today. Snatch day and clean and jerk days are normally the hardest days of my weeks. Because, you know, it's I, every time I do a snatch day, it's full snatches, overhead squat and snatch pull. So my core is just kind of going through it. Same thing on clean and jerk days. I'll do full clean and jerks, front squat and clean pulls. And holy shit, the, my plan of doing a week of grip and rip week, like just doing comfortable shit with high volume and then doing a full pause and slow tempo week with less weight that I know and less sets that I know will not fatigue me at all um, to prime my form and my core. It's fucking working because holy shit. Today, I went up to 85% on everything. I did my doubles uh, at 195 for snatch and that shit, it, like obviously I know it didn't feel like 70, like it, but I think it felt like 75. You know, that shit, that's pretty crazy. 195 used to be a pretty tough number. Like I'd have to really mentally prepare myself to jump under that. And today I just fucking, with ease for two doubles. Uh, overhead squat, got to 235 for my sets of four. The, like the first set wasn't even hard. I just like had a weird core imbalance when I uh, jerked it up over my head. Um, but like I, after I fixed my shit, like both sets were like relatively pretty fucking easy. And snatch pulls, I, I got, I, I, I said that I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it up all the way that I wanted to, but I went on my, on my doubles at 300 on snatch pull, I got it like higher than the bottom of my sternum, which is, really fucking good that's a really good pull for 85 percent <laughs> holy fuck that is crazy so i feel pr ready but we're gonna stick to the program and you know stake the whole point is to go through the whole program uh the way it's written out so that when i get to the end of it i can comfortably just like throw whatever fucking weight i want to uh, comfortably, at least. I don't want to hit like a lifetime PR. I, I will, but only if comfortable. You know, I'm not trying to do like a dying PR. I'm trying to do like a PR that feels like maybe I got five to, at, like if I have 10 more in the tank, I don't know. But like, if I can do like a, a, you know, those reps where you feel like you know you have five left in the tank, I would leave it there. Um, but no, I feel... I feel really, really, really good today. Like my form was also really good. I only had one rep out of all of my working sets that was just slightly off because I landed more towards my heels, but I still went like, my squat was still deep. I, my, everything felt really stable. I didn't move much. So I, I'm fucking, I'm on the way. We're gonna, we're gonna hit some crazy numbers in a couple of weeks. I think it's gonna, it's, it's really hard to tell when you haven't PR in a while. I haven't done a legitimate PR for my power lifts in about a year, almost a year and a half now. And I haven't done a same thing for Olympic lifts. It's been at least a year and a half since I've actually done a legitimate PR rather than just going for like one single at heavy weight and adding the weight for next month. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling it. Mr. Krabs, I'm on my way, but I don't, yeah, I don't really have a lot else to say, I'm just, I'm pretty fucking hyped, like, and again, this is now my volume week, where I do slightly heavier weight than the other uh, volume week, um, for, you know, the grip and rip type shit, and I have left the gym with just about zero fatigue, I do not feel that tired, like if I, the only reason I feel tired, oh, I'm waiting for, the only reason I feel tired is because I was at the gym for a couple hours. I don't actually feel like, it's just that feeling where like, I could go to the gym for the next fucking week and feel great. So, and that's the goal. I'm, I am last week doing the pause and slow tempo shit has now primed me and this week is gonna fly. And then when I get to the next pause tempo week, which will be the last week until PRs, um, I'll be like, of course I'm gonna be tired from this week for my pause week, but the pause week is what's gonna bring it all back in one big loop. And hopefully some crazy fucking numbers go up. I, like, Olympic lifts are always like so 
in the air because you don't actually know what you're going to be able to do until you get there. Um, you know, because it's so full body and aerobic. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm very excited for my power uh, lifts to be to PR on with I because I, 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 I'm, I'm keeping the belt off for squat. I, I religiously will never put on a belt. It just is. I think it's more worth keeping my core as strong as possible and training off of a max that is beltless to make my training as realistic as possible so I don't actually destroy my body. And uh, yeah, like I think bench and squat are gonna be like, I, I have I have about five to 10 to 15 pounds heavier expectations than what I have estimated in my program that I think I could do, but I'm, I'm starting to think that with both Olympic and power, I'm gonna see some different kind of progress than I expected. But that's all I got, honestly. Just have a great day, enjoy yourself, have a good workout like I did, but you'll see the progress.